Will you and your friends sit down for a chilling RPG experience? Can you survive the night? Now, as I said, we're going to be doing the Aqua Long scenario from Survive the Night game. And you're going to want to pick that up because I'm not going to tell you about the adventure in these videos. I'm just going to basically show you the build and that kind of thing. So if you want to pick up the adventure yourself, make sure you head to the website. I'll have the link below the video. In the first episode, we did the straight halls and the square room, which are relatively simple. The harder part are the circular rooms, right? So... Uh, they seem like they're going to be hard, but they're not going to be that difficult. So I'm going to show you. Just follow my steps here in the video, and you'll be able to easily make these uh, circular rooms. Now, I do want to say at this point that I've started taking some liberties with the build uh, and with the shapes of the room and that kind of thing. Uh, and you'll see what I mean uh, when I uh, finally put this together in assembly. What really helped with this build were these nesting templates, right? And these are pretty great because you can do all kinds of circles, trace around them. Uh, but the you know you can also use just things like you know uh, round shapes around your house. You don't have to have these, uh, but I have a link below if you do want to pick them up. They're a different kind of set, but they essentially do the same thing, and they are really worthwhile in having. So I'm going to use these templates uh, when I measure out the circular rooms. To create the circular rooms, I first just laid down a three inch wide uh, strip, right? And the strip will be like the hallways. It would simulate the, the width of the hallways, okay? So then what I did is I in intersected it with the circular template and then just traced around it. That way I can get a circular room uh, at the end of the three inch wide strip. Uh huh. And so once I cut that out, I use my uh, super sharp X-Acto knife. I cut that out. And then I measured out uh, one inch strips to use as the water channels like I did in the hallway tiles. And I just glued those with my white glue uh, to that uh, the strip part of the tile there. And once I got that done, I began to measure out the three quarter inch wide uh, strips I'm going to use for the walls. So I put the walls on the side and then I put a wall on the end. Now I'm going to show you here how to do the uh, circular wall. It's a little trickier than just the straight walls. All right, crafters, I got my little circular piece here and my wall, my three quarter inch wall. And I'm going to pull the paper off and just kind of bend it in my hand. I pulled the paper off because it'll crinkle up when you try to bend it around, but the exterior won't because it's actually being pulled and not scrunched. So just mark where I should cut that, the length of it, and it'll just kind of wrap around like that. So it just couldn't be easier, right? Now we need to secure that. And I have my low temp on here on my glue gun so I don't melt the foam. You don't want to have it too hot or it'll melt the foam. That's what I like about the Sure Bonder. Okay, so I got that on there. Now I'll go around and hold it for a few. And it is good to go. So just super easy. Yeah, it couldn't be easier. So uh, there we go. That's how we'll do our circular rooms. It's a similar technique to do all the uh, circular rooms, but there is one that's different. You see that corner room there? Yeah, that room has two hallways going into it, right? So it's going to be a little trickier than the other. So let's hit my table and I'll show you how I did that corner circular room there. This was really easy to do. I just used my biggest template, all right, and measured around it. And then I used the hallway I had already cut and just kind of intersected the circle at the 45 degree angle there. So then we just uh, build it up like the other tiles, put the walls and the channels on it, wrap uh, around the edge, and we're good to go. Another circular feature you'll notice on the map is the pit in the square room, right? And there's some stuff down there the players can get, so you want to make that. So what I'm going to do is do it 2.5D, because there is actually a wall. They're not showing it on the map, but there's a wall around it. So I'm going to cut it out and then make a 2.5D wall, okay? And the reason for that is because it'll kind of simulate the pit. That's the whole point of 2.5D. You're not actually making the pit. You're just simulating the walls of the pit. The reason I like the technique is you can see everything that's going on at the table. The walls don't hamper you or any in any way, but they also give you a feeling that there's walls there and that kind of thing. So that's why I like to do the 2.5D method. I'm going to go through all the steps, the same steps I did with the hallway with these pieces, right? I'm going to seal them with the... Uh, 
glue and black paint. I'm going to paint them with the different colors and that kind of thing. So if you want to see the whole step-by-step -step process, make sure you watch the first vid in this series. Okay, so once we have those done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rough setup of this uh, dungeon and we'll talk about it. I am going to change the layout just a little bit, uh, not too much, just to make it easier so it's the build isn't as complicated. So just kind of, it's going to be the same feeling and the same, pretty much the same layout. Just uh, take away some of the extra, you know, difficulty in constructing it, uh, the needless, I felt, difficulty in constructing it. So, yeah, so we'll lay out the map and you can see what it looks like, what my build looks like here compared to the map. Before we do the build, the first thing I want you to notice are the round shape rooms, okay? So I did two short corridor rooms, two long corridor rooms, and the double corridor room that we have in the corner there. Now, the reason I did this was just because it's it's just easy to make them, you know, all the same like that. Um, I didn't want to make all the different ones, so, uh, you know, it's not really anything uh, different that, that different aesthetically you know to make it that way so I just decided to make keep it easier on myself and just kinda of do the standard uh, circular room with the hallway attached now this is a great takeaway for any build right you could simplify any dungeon you do and you know it, it, you just gotta be careful you don't want to take the flavor of the dungeon away but you can simplify the build to make it easier on yourself alright crafters here it is here is the map uh, here is my tile set and you can see the map next to it that there are some differences from the map, like the, I took off some of the corners and that kind of thing. I also had the small hallway intersect with another section because, secret, that small hallway is going to be a way the killer can get around the fortress, right? Or get around the dungeon. <laughs> so cool. Now, also you'll notice that the tiles have walls going all the way around them. And you're like, what's up with that, DM Scotty? What I'm going to do is I have sewer pipes between each section, so that will be filled in. That uh, It looks a little strange right now, but that will be filled in. I also have other things like the water in the tiles, which is coming up, so pretty cool. And uh, some other kind of uh, paraphernalia that will be around the dungeon. Uh, there's going to be TV monitors and that kind of thing. So I'll have that those kind of clip-ons that will actually go on to the uh, dungeon. But uh, let's talk about something here real quick. Um, an aspect of the dungeon that I'm going to fix here in another video. Now I wanted to show you something with the individual tiles here. So here's the whole layout. Pretty cool. But the tiles are not um, connected together, right? So they're easy to push around. If you bump it, it's going to come apart and that kind of thing. Which is fine, but I'm actually going to connect these so they will not come apart, right? And that's in a coming up video. So I'll have clips that will actually hold the whole thing together so you won't have it, you know, going all around the table like this and getting bumped and skewed and this kind of thing. So I will see you guys soon.